It's great fun to be here, like every Wednesday. Uh, Shona is a blast. She's our art therapist. Now this week we're going to look at how we see things in everyday objects. But I'd like you to think about situations as well. How you perhaps read things into situations. You get a lot out of it because it's like, it's different topics. We can focus on mental health. I feel like I understand my emotions better because I've got to like see them on the page. I can like transfer them and look back on them and I can understand myself better. So far um, this year, this school year, we've been thinking about how other people think. So we've been walking a mile in other people's shoes. We've been um, doing about empathy. We've been doing about all these things. If you use your imagination, you can see lots of things in the cloud formations. What do you think you see lying just that sort of brother? So I've drawn four chickens and then two tennis balls and a pair of glasses. If you look at something, others Chicken. might see it differently and then you might see it differently and we just have to understand that we see things differently. Last week, it really helped because I kind of see what people think about me. I just realised that not everyone is a true friend, but there's lots of good people and there's lots of bad people as well. Because yeah, I trust people really easily, uh -huh. so it made me think that I should not trust people really easily because I usually do that every single day, every single second. <laughs> so, yeah. And there's lots of different things in everyday life. There's hidden things that you don't see. You have to look closely to see everything. So you need to look closer into it and not just say things before you even think about them. I feel like I get a lot of about how to express my feelings about it and... And I've learned so much and I made millions of new friends. The emphasis is more on having fun in the group while learning a little bit about thinking and emotions and how to how to deal with these emotions and thinking about other people really. Actually it has. Um, it's really difficult to explain but all I know is that it has. Coming here kind of um, let me know a lot more about other people and like how a lot of people are like very different and stuff. Um, I felt like you're more able to express your kind of feelings when we're able to do it. We did the annual retreat for the first time last year and uh, I was able to do um, a lovely outdoor session. Um, we went and collected items off the beach and, and then did some fantastic um, ephemeral art as well. Ephemeral art being art that doesn't last. Mental health retreat was great. Um, Shona done like the art therapy side of it was we done beach sculpture things. Um, we got loads of different materials that we could find on the beach, and we just made a piece of art out of it. And I was then able to come back in the evening, so for an extended session. And in the evening, we we used some of the stuff that was collected to make some more substantial pieces of art. So hot glue guns were involved in this. I think art itself is very therapeutic of some sort. It's good, it's peaceful, it's nice, and also you get to know more about people, I'd say. I have learned that people are different, and also people, it's not always, not always going to have the same thought process, but it's, always, but it's good to see that you have some interests, and I would say it's about connecting with people who have similar interests to you and also people who have different interests because it's nice to know about people themselves, let's say. Overall, I would say art club is a place where you can meet people and where you can do great art and you won't be judged, which I think is pretty good overall. And actually a great thing about the art club is that 